Hi, this is Brian with BFW Classroom, and today we're going to look at the generative AI updates inside the Adobe Express mobile app. Here you see inside the app the generative image, and I've already created one called a fluffy dragon. But what I wanted to show you was the update is that when you change the aspect ratio of an image, it will now auto generate the edges outside of that original image especially if it's one that you've already created inside of the generative AI tool. You'll have four options like always, but you'll get more if you click the option to open up for additional ones. Now, here you see me adding some text to this image, and this is just like normal by opening the text box and walking through it. I've typed in a comment here, but one of the things I wanted to show you inside the app that's different now is that once you've actually typed up, which I put here, um, most adorable dragon, I'm going to change the font and, and kind of say it. If you click on it again and then click the pencil on the left, this is the generative AI rewrite tool. You can change the tone of it, shorten it, lengthen it, regenerate it, and it'll give you at least three options for you to work through this. This is a great tool for students in your classroom that are working on mottos or slogans or just trying to find something different when they're doing their write-ups. As always, with all the text inside of the tool, you can use Generative AI to change the texture and the coloring. Since this is a dragon, I wanted to go for a fire theme on the actual writing itself. And then I changed some of the font so you could have a different look at what it will be. Here it's showing the renders. I pick the, I think, a third option, and then I go back out and begin the actual piece. Now this is when I wanted a larger screen, so I stopped working here, closed it on my phone, so that way it would save, and then opened it up inside of my laptop. Here you can see the other pieces where I changed some options on the side, add a frame, put a little border on it, and now I have an image that almost looks like a trading card similar to a Pokemon or some like any other character. A similar activity is shown inside of Adobe Express. You can find the link in the video description notes below. Also, I hope you enjoyed, learn something new, and go out there and keep creating with your students so that way they'll be creators as well. Check out one of my other videos or one of my playlists to learn more about how to use Adobe Express.